Hello folks. Well this is the little beaver from flight test and I have found the absolute best prop to put on here. Not the one that it comes with which I'm showing right now and the reason this is not a good prop. One, it's an electric prop. I'm not sure why that's such a great big deal because they're pretty flimsy and this one's all chipped up already and I'm going to show you why. It's a tail dragger. Okay, and to deal with tail draggers, the proper way to take off with a tail dragger is you get up to speed and you get the tail up like this so it's level and then you go. Well, the problem is with this plane is you can see this prop, when I get up the level, it hits the ground. It hits right there. So, this is a pretty touchy little airplane, little wind, you can easily hit the prop. And I did hit the prop, it's all chipped up. Now the best prop that I ever put on there, and I've used a lot of different kinds of props in my life that aren't electric on electric. I don't know why they have to be so flimsy and everything on electric, but not a real good prop. I would get rid of this prop, and what I'm using is a Thimble Drone 5-3. This is for nitro. It's a very strong prop, and this goes on just like this. And as you see, I have lots of clearance and why I can take off on the water. So, you can probably get them from Cox Engines in Canada, the same prop. This really works well. It's a wider blade and I've got it balanced with a little piece of tape on there. This thing really works good. Now I'm going to show you how that good that flies uh, with that prop. So let's go. Even in the wind. So the reason I bring this up at all is because Flight Test says to put a smaller prop on for water flights as a 6 inch prop also hits the water easily as you saw in my last video. Thing is they don't include one or give you the proper size they recommend. So in experimenting this is my recommendation. I think you're going to find this will work excellent for you. So here we go in the same windy conditions I flew my T-Rex 550 and my Hyperfly Apache helicopters in last week.
Well, as you can see, this thing flies fantastic on my 5.3 prop. Maybe someone from Flight Test will see this and throw away that prop it comes with and put my recommended prop instead. It won't break easily and it works great underwater too. Well, now that I've figured this little plane out, I really like it and it can really scoot. I hope this helps any of you who get one and thanks a lot for watching, folks.